What is going on everyone and welcome back to another Touchdowns to Home Runs. I am so glad that you are here for this video because I got a new jersey design concept video and today we're going one new jersey for each of the 14 SEC teams and I cannot wait to show you guys these jerseys. These are some of my favorite jerseys that I've ever made. I really feel like what I got here is very cool, clean and just something that you guys especially if you love the sec and you love college football it will be something that you guys would love to see so i'm very excited to show you all of these but just before we get started on that i had to give a huge shout out to our friends at sportstemplates.net for providing us this template guys if you want to learn how to make these designs for yourself you have to hit up sportstemplates.net for the best templates for anything sports it's not just football it's baseball it's basketball it's hockey it's soccer it's rugby they got everything so definitely go hit them up if you want to learn how to make some of these designs for yourself because i know you guys got some great designs and everything you tell me in the comments all the time what you do to change the jerseys and everything so i know you guys want to go put that to use and go see your actual designs in a 3d model like this so to do that go hit up sportstemplates.net and use promo code noah n-o-a-h to get 10 percent off your purchase so I got 14 different jerseys for you guys here, and I cannot wait to show you guys. I feel like you guys are going to love these, especially if you're an SEC fan or just whatever team you like. I feel like I nailed these down for every single team. I love all of these, and I would like to see jerseys like this come out in college football. Maybe not necessarily as their jersey to be constantly worn like their home and away jersey but these are mainly all alternate jerseys what i made here so just keep that in mind these are these aren't for full-time use these are just kind of a one or two time a season jerseys that the fans seem to like so starting off in al alphabetical order we got the alabama crimson tide this one i went for a gray jersey alabama is very classic and they like to keep their jerseys like that they don't like to do too much design for their jerseys so i wanted to stick with that because i don't want to do too much to a jersey that's already a classic so i just went this is the one that's kind of the most simple i just went with full gray because they don't have a gray uniform but that is one of their colors i uh, keep the numbers the same i just made them red you got the alabama crimson tide logo up at the collar and then you got the sec logo and the nike logo again i want to keep this very simple and very plain because that is what alabama is and i did not want to screw around with what they already have Next up, we got Arkansas. Now, this one's one of my more favorite of all the ones I've designed. I love black jerseys. I love black and red jerseys. And Arkansas doesn't have a black jersey. At least, I don't think they do. I could be wrong with that. But I absolutely love this. You got the nice red and white number there. That stands out a lot. You got the Arkansas word mark, Nike, and SEC logo. That logo, that Razorback logo that you see on the sleeves and the top of the collar there, that is my fav most favorite logo in all of college football, I think. I absolutely love that logo, and I had to make a jersey with it. And you got the red and white stripes going along the sleeves with that logo on top of it. I just feel like everything bounces off and pops off this jersey very nicely and looks very clean. And just those white and red stripes on the collar and on the sleeves just make it look so nice so to see arkansas come out with the black jersey i think i'd love really love to see that and i feel like arkansas fans would love to see that too because there isn't much to cheer for on the actual field so you might as well look good so i think that they should come out definitely they need to come out with the black jersey if it's like this or not i don't know but i would really love to see something more with that arkansas the head-on logo of the razorback i love that Next up, we got the Auburn Tigers. So this one, I went for kind of what they have now in their home jerseys, but I want to make an orange one. I'm a big Bears fan, and the Bears have their regular navy jersey. They got their regular white jersey, and then they have, they just brought it back recently, the orange alternate jersey, and that's what I kind of wanted to do with Auburn here because they had the same color scheme and everything. Keep it the same as their home jersey. Just flip around the color scheme and change that word mark at the top to Tigers because that's something they don't use. It usually says Auburn. I love the orange and everything on this. I hate Clemson. I hate Clemson orange. But since this is similar to the Chicago Bears colors, of course, I'll love it. And Auburn is one of my more favorite SEC teams. So the white and the navy really bounces off nicely on this jersey and everything. It's literally what they have now. It's just in the different color scheme and everything and with that different word mark up top. So I really feel like uh, Auburn should come out with a 
orange jersey at some point just as an alternate jersey so that's what i was going for here and if you look if you look at the detail very closely you could see i'm a big south carolina fan if you hadn't been able to tell by the shirt i know it says sec but i got the logo there um i have a ton of the under armor jerseys and i actually put the pattern behind like into the jersey that under armor actually does you got the little square pattern so if you have an auburn tigers under armor jersey you probably know what i'm talking about so that's just little details that i put in only for the under armor jersey just because i know what they look like in full detail and everything and i just think it makes the jersey look a lot more clean so that's just something interesting if you didn't notice that already florida gators are our next up and this one I went with a blue jersey. I wanted to make an orange one, but they already had an orange one and white and everything. I didn't want to go with a green jersey, so I wanted to stick with the blue and just add some new things to it. I put the F logo on the sleeves, as you can see there. I love the up and down stripes on the shoulder. That's something that I love with jerseys, and I really want to do that for Florida here. So you just got the white and the orange going down there. The swamp, I absolutely love that, how uh florida uses that slogan and everything and i wanted to put that in jersey so that's what i did here you have the swamp up there as your main um board mark on the top you have the same number or scheme or whatever and then you have the florida logo instead of the sec logo because that's what they do and then you got the jump man on the other side i just think that this for an alternate jersey or something like that just really uh paying respect to the stadium or whatever just calling it the swamp and everything that's a huge part of what florida is and i really feel like they should make that into a jersey somehow so that's what my intentions were here and i really like it i think this looks really clean and i think a lot of florida fans would feel the same way now we got georgia georgia is one of my least favorite teams in the sec of course we're big rivals with them um but i love this jersey that i made for them it's might be my favorite out of all of them the dog saying, again, I am a huge sucker for those slogans or whatever that teams use. Just like how I said the swamp, how um, Florida calls Ben Griffin Hill. I'm pretty sure I got that stadium name right. How they call that the swamp. Dogs is something that's a nickname for the Georgia Bulldogs. And I really want to throw that in. They have a black jersey already, but it's just a copy of their regular jersey just changing around the color scheme and i want to change that i want to add something more to that make the black jersey look so much nicer and that's what i thought i did here the dog saying i love that had to put that up there that bulldog logo on the color i absolutely love that logo so that's why i had to put that somewhere in here they usually have the g up there i'm pretty sure so i want to replace that and then just simple red and white stripes on the sleeve something so subtle but just makes the jersey look so much nicer you got the same numbers you got the same red and white numbers on the front of the jersey and you got them on the shoulders too so it's just nice simple and clean and just looks so nice and everything and just add something new to a jersey i know georgia has classic jerseys but if you're gonna go for an alternate jersey you might as well make it somewhat new and fresh and exciting and that's what i felt like i did here so that's why i went with this and i absolutely love this one next up we got kentucky this was a tough one for me because i wanted to go with a black jersey they already have that then i was like okay i'll go with the gray jersey because i know they also use gray well they already have that so i just stuck with the blue i had to keep a checkerboard pattern in there because i absolutely love that on the kentucky jerseys kept it on the sleeve added it to the collar added the word mark up front uh to wildcats up there and then added the actual wildcat logo i know that's I think it's primarily a baseball logo for them, but I absolutely love that logo. And I think the football team should definitely be using it more. So add that on the sleeves and everything. You got the UK logo on the collar. Again, this isn't too much different than what they already have. It was hard to really come up with something new for Kentucky that I felt like I would like still. Because I really love that checkerboard pattern on the sleeve. So I felt like I had to keep that on there. So that's what I did. And I just added a few things and changed a few things around. But all in all, this is a very clean looking jersey and everything. And I'd love to see something like this. And just more of that Wildcat logo on Kentucky jerseys. Next up, the defending national champions, we got the LSU Tigers. Now, this is kind of what I did with Auburn. I kind of took 
the jersey that they already had and switched it around a bit just a new color scheme but i did add a few things so obviously you can tell it's a yellow jersey and then i just switched around the striping you got purple and white stripes on the collar and on the shoulders and everything like that you still got the same lsu word mark same numbers and everything but i wanted to add tiger stripes on the sleeve and everything i just think that that look makes the jersey look so clean and everything especially that they're the tigers and everything you got to add something tiger based to the jerseys i know a couple teams i'm pretty sure memphis does something like that where they add tiger stripes to their jerseys that got that on the sleeves and it looks great i love memphis uniforms and everything like that so i wanted to bring that to lsu in some sense again this isn't what they'd be wearing every home game but if you just come out with this for one game uh, I think that that would be very cool if they did something like that LSU only wears their purple jerseys like twice a season I think they only wore them I know they wore them against Vandy last year and then there was some other group of five team that they wore them against but other than that that they always wear the white uniform and I'd like to see some more color from LSU or whatever seeing this from the uh, with the gold helmet I feel like would look really nice just an all yellow gold whatever you call a game that would be pretty cool Next up, we got the Mississippi State Bulldogs. To be honest, I have no clue what I was going for here. I just did something. I just threw something on the sleeve. I was like, oh, let's add kind of a silver or reflective stripe pattern on the sleeves and see how it looks. And I actually liked it a lot, so I stuck with it. And I love that Bulldog logo that I put there, so I wanted to throw that on. Um, other than that, you still got the same Mississippi word mark up top, but I changed it to gray i made it the gray and darker gray up there just i felt like the gray would be something new that they don't i'm pretty sure they usually use white as the color for that word mark and the numbers on here so i want to add something new in that sense but mainly what i did here was the sleeve pattern that was just something it has no relevance to the team or whatever really that was just something that i tested out and i really liked so i stuck with it and i think it looks good i think it looks clean again not something that mississippi state would wear all the time but just something that you'd bring out once a season and it would be different. Next, moving on to Missouri. And this one's definitely uh, one of my more favorite jerseys that I designed here. The Zoo, again, just like the Swamp, the Zoo is another saying that I love from a team. And I had to put that on this Missouri jersey. I love the yellow and black. Anything yellow and black, I'm a big fan of. So that's why I went for this here. And just like the LSU jersey, had to add the tiger stripes. Just makes it look so fierce and everything this is just a really nice cool looking jersey uh you got the same numbers on the shoulders and everything and on the front of the jersey the missouri logo on the collar but just that saying that slogan with the tiger stripes i just think makes this jersey look so nice and clean and just if they brought this out with their uh gold helmets just once a season one home game i think that that would make the fans extremely happy if they came out with this jersey or whatever i think a lot of fans would buy it so missouri if you're watching this definitely come out with a jersey like this i think everyone would love to see that next up we got ole miss this is something new i learned about ole miss so i knew about the land shark logo and everything like that before and i thought it was something really cool i love the logos and everything like that but i didn't really know the story behind it apparently i could be wrong in this but what i read is that there was an old player on ole miss who passed away that used to do like the fins up thing like a land shark or whatever and that kind of turned into a saying for Ole Miss and everything. And then they make these logos because of it. I love those logos. It's something completely new and different for Ole Miss. So that's what I was going for here. I love using new things. I love using those alternate logos. So we got kind of a land shark jersey here with that lighter blue. If they'd match this with the lighter blue helmets, that would look amazing. You got that Mississippi uh, fin logo on the collar or whatever. And then those up and down red and white stripes on the shoulders. Ole Miss uh, word mark on the front of the jersey, same number and everything. This is just a really clean looking jersey. So for my favorite team, I did something a bit different than what I had done for all the other ones. If you are a South Carolina fan, I don't know if you are or not, but you, if you are, you may have heard or seen the leaks of the new jerseys that it looks like we're going to be getting for the season. It looks like we're getting the exact same, we're getting the style that we did for the Gamecocks, the new Black Magic jerseys we got last season. So this is actually an exact replica of what is supposed to be coming out 
this season or next season or whenever it's coming out this is just the leak jersey that we have i made it and i made it 3d and everything like that in this template so this is what we're getting this could be actually what the gamecocks are going to be wearing for the coming seasons so this isn't something i designed this is something that might actually happen i just want to throw that in there for you guys so that's what i did for the gamecocks i really like it it makes it look better than what we had before and everything like that and i'm excited for when they actually come out because i'm definitely going to be picking one of those up Next jersey, this was a really tough one for me. I didn't want to do this because it's so close to Kentucky, but I just felt like I had to. Tennessee isn't a team I like, but there's so much history and everything about that team that I love. And the checkerboard pattern or whatever is something I really admire about Tennessee. So I wanted to add that to the sleeves. I know it looks so much like Kentucky, but I had to do it. I'm sorry, Tennessee fans. I'm sorry, Kentucky fans, but I had to do it. Other than that, just keeping it very simple. You got the nice 16 for Peyton Manning there up on the shoulders too and then just the checkered board pattern down the sleeves next up we got the texas a&m aggies i wanted to add the aggies word mark on the front of the jersey because that's something i don't think that they usually do with their jersey um i added that t logo too that's something that you don't usually see the t with the lone star on there absolutely love that and then add the texas a&m logo with the state outline up on top of the collar you got the two for johnny manzel there I absolutely love this just it's very simple it's what Texas A&M likes to do they like to keep it very simple but just adding a new logo and a new word mark it's just something new to keep the jerseys fresh or whatever so the same old Texas A&M jersey doesn't get keep getting old but I think they actually just went out and made new jerseys I looked at them they're didn't seem to be too much of a difference for me I think they just stuck with the Texas A&M word mark and maybe changed the sleeve pattern or whatever but yeah this is what I came up with and now last up we got the Vanderbilt Commodores I wanted to make a gold jersey but I wanted to keep the sleeves and the top black and as you can see here the main theme here is that anchor logo I love that saying again just like I did with the zoo just like the swamp just like the dogs I wanted to stick with the slogan or whatever they use anchor down so I wanted to incorporate that somehow in the jersey and you've got the anchor pattern going all the way um, on the front of the jersey you got it on the shoulders and you got the big logo on the sleeves just something i really like and then you got vanderbilt on top of that something new adding a pattern just like a faded pattern in the back of the jersey is something i really like and something i really wanted to do with this jersey so those are all 14 of my concepts guys thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate it down below in the comments i want to hear which one was your favorite anything you change about any of them um anything else about college football this season in the sec because i know there's a lot going on and we don't know we have a shortened season we have a conference only season this year there's a lot to be excited for if we actually get football so i can't wait for that let me know anything about anything in the comments i love hearing from you guys like the video subscribe for lots more college football content or sports in general content and definitely come back next time